Hey guys, Selenu here from playtoearn.net. For today's video, we'll be talking about a couple of more games on the Binance Smart Chain. Known for using popular programming languages, flexible tools, a massive user base, and of course Binance, many projects have decided to build on BSC. In this video, we continue a previous list and talk about 5 more free-to-play games on the BNB chain. So without further ado, let's get to the list. The first game on our list is Homey Wars. Homey Wars is a free-to-play metaverse survival game being built on the Binance Smart Chain. In Homey Wars, players can participate in a variety of different fun and exciting game modes powered by the blockchain and have a chance to earn awards while playing. Homey Wars is a game that takes place in its own metaverse called the Homeyverse. In the Homeyverse, players can show off their unique NFTs, join battles, participate in events, or just hang out with other homies. The graphics in-game resemble and feel like the popular multiplayer game Fall Guys, so if you played that before, this might be familiar to you. One of the features in the Homeyverse is called Daily Golden Battle. In this event, players participate in a massive homie race where there will only be one winner in the end. The lucky person who is declared the winner will receive the daily rewards pool. There are also challenge rooms where players can bet coins against other players to win the room prize. Whoever wins gets to take home the pot. The currency used for betting is homie coin, which is also the game's main token. And there are also homie shop NFTs. These are characters players can collect and train to make them more skillful. Each homie shop NFT will have its own attributes, making them more unique. According to their FAQ, the homieverse will soon offer an expanded metaverse and more events and battles, and even an obstacle map course creator. If you want to try it out, you can log in as guests on their website. The next game on our list is Koakuma. Koakuma is a play to earn MMORPG being built on the Binance Smart Chain and Polygon. In Koakuma, players can team up with friends, raid dungeons, fight deadly monsters, breed and train imps, and engage in PvP fights for a chance to get tokens and NFT rewards. The game is under the MMORPG genre, so if you play similar traditional games like Diablo and maybe Torchlight, you might be familiar to how this plays like. The game's light paper also says that the visuals and gameplay are inspired by Diablo, WoW, and Gigantic. Players control a character as they explore different areas in the game. Gameplay takes place in a world called Laria, which is filled with various NFT treasures and materials. As players progress on their adventure, they can collect these resources and materials to use later on, or maybe sell to other players who need them more. The game will also feature a crafting system, so these resources can be turned into weapons, accessories, or medicine to help in fights. As they explore, players will also encounter monsters which they can fight in dungeons. This is the PvE aspect of the game. And there will also be PvP tournaments where players can test their skill against others. The game features many NFTs in the form of unique equipment, skill runes, legendary hero skins in-game, and more. According to their website, more than 700 of these NFTs will be collectible. Other features of the game include an imp system, which is their version of having a pet to help your character, and the thief system, a way to separate societies in the game world into different DAOs. The game's two tokens are KKMA, the limited governance token, and BOD, the in-game trade and exchange token, which is also the in-game reward. For more details, you can check their website. Their demo is also live now if you want to check it out. If you're enjoying this list so far, you can check out our website at playtoearn.net. We have different categories you can search from so you can actually find what you're looking for. Also, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel so you're always updated with our videos. Now let's get back to the list. The next game on our list is Monstera. Monstera is a multi-chain simulation strategy game being built on the Binance Smart Chain, Avalanche, and OKX. In Monstera, players explore a fictional world and revolves around farming, property building, and battling other lands with magical creatures named Mangan, while having the chance to earn rewards. The game is inspired by Axie Infinity's pet world and the gameplay of Clash of Clans in Boom Beach by Supercell. Players collect their pets, called Mongans, which come in different shapes and forms to make their own empire and defeat other enemies and players. Mongans are the main NFTs and come in five races, which are Tectos, Mystic, Beast, Celeste, and Chaos. They also have five rarities, which are Common, Uncommon, Rare, Epic, and Legendary. The game offers different modes. Adventure mode is where players use their Mongan squad to explore new lands. Boss Challenge is the big boss PvE mode, Battlefront is more in PvP where players try to rob other bases for loot, and Arena is for players to fight head-on with other teams. The main token of the game is called Monstera, and it is available on multiple chains like the game itself. According to the tokenomics chart, 15% of the 100 million supply will be used for ecosystem, while 20% is dedicated for the team. Monstera token is used for interacting the game including buying and selling NFTs, upgrading items in-game, community events, and DeFi utility. For more info, you can check their website. The next game on our list is ELO Universe. ELO Universe is a free-to-play fantasy RPG NFT game being built on the Binance Smart Chain. In ELO Universe, players can use their creatures called ELO to explore, farm, and fight for a chance to earn NFTs in crypto. ELO are the NFTs players will use to play the game. Each ELO is unique and has several body parts. It's horns, ears, eyes, mouth, body, and element. All ELO get two elements when hatched, which can be one of the following. Fire, water, earth, wind, lightning, ice, light, and darkness. They also have a skill tree which depends on the magic they are born with. And all Ilu have a rarity from common, rare, epic to legendary. 
The rarity of an elu can provide bonuses on HP, energy, loot, and bleeding time. The game has several features. Players can explore randomly generated biomes and find NFTs and different items. They can also battle monsters, which will depend on the location players are in. The higher the difficulty of the monsters they fight, the more items and experience their elu gains. There's also a PvP arena to fight other players. Players can also find seeds while exploring to plant on their farm. These can grow into trees, herbs, or food, which can be crafted into more refined items or sold to NPC and other players on the marketplace. And players can breed elu to sell the offspring, but each elu can only breed a maximum of 10 times. Each subsequent breed will need more resources. Elu is the main governance token of the game with a fixed supply, while elu is the reward token with infinite supply and can be earned in-game. You can check out their website for more details. And the last game on our list is Warcube. Warcube is a MOBA shooter tower defense game being built on Binance Smart Chain, Polygon, and Immutable X. In Warcube, players team up with others and fight in a shooter game with elements of MOBA and tower defense to see who wins and have a chance to earn rewards. Warcube is a cooperative 3D isometric shooter game powered by the blockchain. The game is based on free-to-play and player earned models, so anyone can have a possibility of earning even without initial investment. The game has three main modes. These are PvE, PvP, and Raid. In PvE mode, players will protect their base of people from hostile races who want to gain their cube. Here, a team of players protect their base against the waves of enemies' attacks. They will also have turrets around the base that automatically open fire on the enemy. Players win the match by defeating all the waves of enemies. PvP mode is a 4v4 match where teams fight it out on a map with their defenses. The task of both teams is to protect their own base and destroy the enemy's base. The setup of this mode is similar to MOBA games, where the goal is to destroy the enemy's base first. And Raid Mode is where a team is tasked to clear a particular location from enemies and get a reward in the form of a special NFT for winning the battle with the final boss. The different characters in the game have different playstyles, so players can choose who they like. These are Eli, Ella, Evander, and Hayate. And players can also equip pets to help them in fights like Protector, Koi, and Obsidian Raven. Other in-game NFTs include skins, interior items, mystery boxes, and avatars which can be standard or premium. The game is still currently in development, and they recently released a playable demo. You can check their website for more details. And that's a wrap for today's list of games. If you are looking for more free-to-play games on the BNB chain, I hope this list helped you out. Which game on this list would you play? Let me know in the comments. And for more info and everything about blockchain games, check out our website at playtoearn.net, where we have the largest database of games that have all the info you need. That's it for today, see you next video.